Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to another video where I'm going to be sharing how I was able to get Crimson on my Iron Man profile without being carried. Let's get into it. So, first of all, I should clarify what no carry means. It means that no one that I know helped me with any of the steps of doing this quest line. So, if there's a random person, because for example, in this, I did the Barbarian quest line because it's a lot easier. And, um, like for the Magma Cube boss and the Mage Outlaw, if there's some random people in the lobby killing it, I don't count that as getting carried, because you can find those really easily. I just count a carry as someone I know carrying me through that step of the quest. That's, that's what I see as carrying. But let's get into it. You also might be wondering how I'm able to do any damage at all, considering I lost my... AOTD, which was my best damaging weapon a while ago, and I have not yet adventured fully into floor 5 to get myself a livid dagger. So, what type of damaging sword am I going to use? And if you thought I was going to use mage, you are incorrect. I actually went with, uh, where is it? There we go. I went with mastiff armor and a shaman sword. So this is actually a really good setup for, uh, for Iron Man players. If you get yourself Mastiff and a Shaman Sword, you're basically, you can survive a lot of hits from the very tanky mobs in the nether. And yeah, you just don't have to worry about it, and you can still do like 50k a hit with this on. So I literally just had uh, this set on, and then I had my Enderman pet on, and you do a decent amount of damage. So that's how I kind of got through the quest line. Now let's go through like each individual step. Okay, so you walk into the end, the first step is you have to talk to Ellie and kill the blazes. The blazes aren't dangerous, so I'm not even really counting this as a step, because it's not challenging at all. So you walk through here, Ellie walks you this way, you talk to Ellie. She needs some resources. She needs blazing ash, the wither stuff from over there, and then she needs magma chunks. So just to prove the damage a little bit, let's just come over here, just proving that I can do like 40-50k hit. And as you see, they don't really damage me. So it's not really a huge problem. As you will see, I just I can kind of kill these guys pretty quick. It did take probably about half an hour, just because, again, these aren't guaranteed drops, and it takes a little bit to get these kills to actually get all the resources I needed just to finish this first part of the quest. But And I get a magma trunk on the first try. But yeah, so you need some magma trunks, some blazing ash. If you don't know where any of these things are, the magma trunks you get from the magma cubes over here. The wither things you get from the weather spectrums over here or up the stairs is more up there and then for the blazes you have to come up the stairs and you can just kill the regular blazes that spawn over here just these regular blazes 1.2 million hp and then you can get all the things you needed for step one after you do that it's going to let you choose uh I... after that you have to explore the island sorry so you have to just go around you have to just explore the island, and then after that you have to talk to some NPCs that are just, I believe at that point you have to talk to different NPCs around each faction, and then you have to choose which faction you are planning on joining. So a reminder that Barbarian is the easier faction to join, because if you join Mage you're going to have to kill Ashfang, which is a really annoying boss to try to kill, and you're also just, it's, it's more annoying, you have to kill like every single mini boss, plus Ashfang, and... <laughs> Ashfang, you basically need a ginormous party. If we come over here, Ashfang is just... He's terrifying. So if you come over here, Ashfang, there he is. If you walk close to him, for example, he spawns... Do I have to hit him? I have to hit him. There you go. He launches all these blazes. I'm going to leave because I don't have a cookie, but... Yeah, he's very painful to kill. So if you're doing this on Iron Man, do the Barbarian quest line. It'll be much easier on you. So the next couple steps that you need for this quest are uh, pretty easy. If we come over to the other side around here, uh, after you finish exploring the island and you select that you want the Barbarian faction, you have to run down to a little crevice here. You have to really follow Ellie, and if you have a Slayer quest active, you won't be able to see where you're supposed to be going. But there's a little crevice, I believe, back somewhere over here. I think it's back here. Uh, yeah, there's this little crevice where you will find Yugo, and there's also a mob somewhere out right here that you have to kill. Basically, you kill that corrupted mob, give the sulfur to Yugo, he comes back, and then you lead them over to the chief. You have to kill mobs that are just in the way. The mobs will just be in the way, you just have to, they will completely stop if there's a mob nearby, so you just have to lead them over here. After that, you have to go steal the mage plans, which I can show you a quick route for now.
Alright, so after that you will be here at the dojo to do some training. You have to finish the Force, Stamina, and Mastery all up to A rank, I believe, and you are perfectly set up. After that, all you have to do is kill the Mage Outlaw, and you have to go fishing. You have to kill the Magma Cube boss, and then I think you also have to, like, give a Heavy Pearl to someone. I These are just going off of memory. Uh, all I know for the fishing one is you have to get a Fly Fish and a skeleton fish the fly fish all you have to do is be eight blocks above the lava and then for the skeleton fish you have to fish in the burning desert that they didn't take that long to get because you get the starting lava rod it's it's not the best but it also goes by pretty fast it didn't take me that long to catch the fish uh, and for the actual mini bosses this is where the no carry thing comes into play I just literally waited in the lobby until someone came over to kill which for the Magma Cube boss did take a little bit. You can also try using different Discord servers like SBC or something like that to try to find other people that are also doing these bosses. But you know, that's kinda it's kinda up to you. If you want to get carried for that, I don't I don't care. It's just a personal challenge for this profile. And then after that, you will go to fight Kudra. Now you might be thinking there's a slight problem with that. You finish the quest line, but how are you gonna buy a crimson piece? Because you don't, you, you don't have a Kudra key. So you know how earlier we were talking about doing 40 to 50k per hit? Well, the best way to get keys is by grinding mini bosses. So you have to do a million damage to these bosses before they die, which with multiple hate mages and lobbies can be difficult. So you have to be, you usually have to try to get the damage. It's not that easy, but you can do it. You literally just go between Blade Soul and the Mage Outlaw, because the Barbarian Duke really is not worth killing. It's too much effort for this point in the game. So just go between the Blade Soul and Mage Outlaw and you'll be fine, because you can't kill the same, you can't, you don't get rewards for killing the same boss five times in a row. So you occasionally have to switch between the two. If you only want to kill Blade Soul, you're going to eventually have to kill the Mage Outlaw just to get keys. So basically you do that forever and then, um, yeah. You do that forever, then you grind Kudra, which is a little bit painful because it's 100k per run, but eventually you can get yourself a full Crimson set. Now, with, oh, with my lack of a proper sword, let's go test my damage. Alright, so here we are in the classic grinding, uh, well, damage testing spot right here. We have our AOTE, our full Crimson, and we have myself my Enderman pet because it's my best damaging pet with the God Pot. So now, testing the damage, 27,000 damage, which really is not that bad. Obviously with Teleport on Enderman, it's going to be a bit more, so it goes up to 36k with the Teleport ability. So, here we go, let's just, so 27.4k, and if we take a look at what my old best damage setup was, which was a Tarantula Helmet, Skeletor Chestplate, Skeleton Master Leggings, and Shadow Assassin Boots, that did 25k. So it is definitely a little bit of a buff. It's not that crazy, but the actual good part about this is if we get a couple kills here, and we're about to spawn this the Void Gloom Tier 1, just to kind of show this, because you get the Slash ability, which does the extra slash, and you do extra damage for it. As you see, there's about 9k in the great letters there, and that's really nice, especially for those bosses. It just it kind of helps with that. So that's the main buff, main buff, main upside of Crimson is that slash ability because it really does help out when you're doing these different bosses and stuff. So yeah, I have Crimson. Now I need to get a sword. That'll be a future worry though, but that is going to do it for today's video guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also join my Discord link in the description. And I will see you guys all in the next video.